Pretty soon, the king realised that if he wanted a job done properly, he was going to have to do it himself. Next time Wallace met the English army, it would be led by King Edward. The English wouldn't be fooled by another surprise attack, so to prepare for a clash with the heavily armoured English cavalry, Wallace invented a battlefield tactic called the Shiltrum. The outnumbered ranks of infantry would form an enormous circle of spears so that the charging knights would be met by a deadly giant hedgehog. As a massive English army advanced from the south, Wallace retreated, burning fields and crops as he went. His plan was to use a scorched earth policy to break the English lines of supply. It nearly worked. As the English army lumbered on, getting hungrier, there was no sign of the enemy. Then, at Edinburgh, a scout reported that Wallace was just 20 miles away in Falkirk, ready to pounce if the English retreated. Edward ordered a forced march. At dawn, on the 23rd of July, 1298, the English luck changed. The chronicles tell us that as the English army was advancing up the Forth, they saw a flash of armour up here on the hill. It was Wallace spying on his enemy. But by the time an advance guard had raced up here, he was gone. Instead, down there, in front of the town of Falkirk, they could see the entire Scottish army preparing at last for battle. No one knows why Wallace chose to stand and fight. The English were almost out of food and ready to retreat. Perhaps he thought he might be overtaken and preferred to choose the battleground. Or perhaps Stirling had made him overconfident. Either way, the Battle of Falkirk was to be crucial. And yet, incredibly, no one's sure where it took place. The scraps of information we have from the Chronicles just refer to a hilly area overlooking boggy ground and a watercourse. It could have been the town centre site where the park is today. The rise just beyond the supermarket. The farmland under Calendar Woods. Or here, the Mumrill site near the main Edinburgh Falkirk Road. Whatever the location, we know the story of the day. Wallace had his men arranged up on the high ground with four large circles of spearmen, and in between them he had his short bowmen, and behind his cavalrymen ready to charge. I've brought you to the ring, he said to his men. Now dance as best you can. The English sent wave after wave of cavalry across the boggy ground, up the slope and onto the waiting Scottish spears. But then two things happened that changed the course of the day and the future of Wallace's reputation. Firstly, the Scots nobility who made up their cavalry suddenly upped and left. And secondly, the English brought on their new secret weapon, the longbow. Longbow's range was deadly. Some thought it went against the rules of war, as horrific in its time as napalm, as effective as a machine gun. Wallace escaped with his life, 10,000 of his men didn't. <laughs> 